Right, if you watched my previous video, you know that I screwed up my Insta360 camera and today I'll try to get it fixed. There are a couple of different ways of doing that. I'm not gonna bore you with details, but I'll tell you what not to do. First of all, please don't polish the lens. It will absolutely screw up the lens itself. It will change its shape, but you'll also take the coating of it, which will make the whole footage pretty much unusable. There's also the hard way of doing this, which involves ungluing the whole cover and then gluing it together, probably unscrewing it, and I just can't be bothered with that. I'm pretty bad with fixing stuff in general, and the barbaric way, which I'll show you today, seems to be a little bit easier than anything else I've seen on the web. So in terms of the lens, they're between 25 and 45 bucks. I'm 100% sure they're exactly the same. The ones you get from China are obviously cheaper, but they take forever to get to the UK or the US. So I'll link below the ones I've got from Amazon next day. It just makes life much easier. Okay, let's get into this now, like for real. I absolutely take back what I said about the durability. Holy fuck. I'm not sure what the thought process was behind building the Insta. I think someone went, you know what, no one's gonna scratch the lens, so let's not worry about protecting it that way, let's not make it removable, but let's just make sure that if someone accidentally drills into it, it's not gonna work. That video is heavily cut, because it was, I think, in total of like 10 minutes of drilling into it. Ah, there we go. Come on, you stubborn. Well, I guess it's time to find out if it actually worked. Well, fingers crossed, eh? So, quick update. Um... I kind of fucked it up. Kinda. Stay tuned. For you, don't have any fenders on and it's a little bit wet outside. Eh, nah, this will have to do. Let's go. Hello? Oh yeah, it's, it's lethal though. <laughs> it should be working. classifies as a success. I mean, the camera works. I probably wouldn't recommend doing this on your own. If you're doing this, do it at your own risk. I don't not sure if it's gonna work for you, uh, but I'm pretty stoked. It actually fixed something. This is like a huge milestone in my life. So there you go. The fuck up I've mentioned is in me drilling into this little cover just around the lens, just here. Probably because I don't have the right drills and no, sorry, correction. I definitely don't have the right drills and I definitely don't have the right skills. As I mentioned before, I'm pretty shit at doing stuff like that. I think I'm gonna dabble a bit of glue inside. As soon as I put the lens in, that didn't want to come out. So I'm guessing it's stuck there, but I will again add a little bit of glue in that tiny little space here. Whew. Well, that was a success, at least in my books. It seems to be working just fine. Obviously, if you're doing this at home, you're doing this at your own risk. I'm not taking any responsibility for your cameras going AWOL or you're losing fingers or whatever you're gonna do with those little drills you've got. There is some flaring going on, but I'm pretty sure that was just the sunlight direction that was reflecting off the lens, so nothing major. I'm pretty stoked with the results. And I would normally say that if you have any questions to leave them below, but I don't really have any answers. I just used the drill against the lens, took the bits out, and just stuck a new one in. And weirdly enough, like I've mentioned before, that thing once it got in, stayed in. So the monkey way kind of worked. So if an ape like me can do this, so can you. Good luck. <laughs> 